Hello, and welcome to this new series of videos where we will discuss garbage and its effects on our little blue and green marble. Now, why should you watch, you may ask yourself. Why should I listen to this random group of children on the internet for a school project? Well, we will not just bore you with facts that will not influence your life. We will connect you with these issues on a personal level. We will discuss fun situations, scenarios, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's jump into our first episode of this series. What is garbage, and how does it affect us? So, what is garbage? By definition, garbage is wasted or spoiled food and other refuse, as from a kitchen or household, usually waste that is no longer needed and disposed of. See, that was easy. This series won't be boring. Now, let's quickly discuss what it will affect if it inevitably gets out of hand. It's common knowledge that garbage has gotten out of hand, and it's a constant battle in the world on whether it really negatively impacts anything. So let's start small and use trusted sources to do our research, because we wouldn't be, want to be full of, uh, <laughs> garbage. <laughs> Anyways, the first impact is air. According to Texas Disposal, 40% of the world's litter is burned in the open air, which can release toxic emissions. These emissions can cause some respiratory issues, other health problems, and even be a starting base for acid rain. For some context, acid rain is a dangerous form of weather, where slightly acidic chemicals are carried in storm clouds and douse an entire area. Acid rain can leach aluminum from the soil, and that aluminum may be harmful to plants as well as animals. Acid rain also removes minerals and nutrients from the soil that trees need to grow, and if these plants do not thrive, bugs and animals that feast on them will simply perish. Garbage can affect marine habitats as well, since animals mistaken properly disposed of garbage in the ocean for small pieces of food, and since polyethylene is indigestible, it would block up vital organs and, well, uh, possibly kill them. And unfortunately, that's just a drop in the ocean of how many impacts are caused by garbage pollution. And it's, uh, it's really quite depressing. So for now, let's just do a fun calculation to determine how much exists in the world right now. The average amount of trash made by a person in the U.S. per day is about 4 pounds. So if you take the current U.S. population, 329 million people, and multiply it by 4 pounds, you get 1.316 billion pounds of trash a day. Oh my god. So now let's put that into perspective. There's roughly 17.4 pounds in one bag. So if we divide our other number, 1.316 billion, by 17.4 pounds, we get the number of bags. That's roughly 75,670,000 bags of trash, which is just a lot. Remember, this is a day. One bag is around 4 feet in diameter, so if we take our number of bags and multiply it by 4, that's about 302,680,000 feet of bags. And in miles, that's 57,000... 325.8 miles of trash, and if we put that number into perspective, that's 26 times the diameter of the moon. So, <laughs> that gives you a lot to think about. <clears throat> uh, we will come back with another video in a bit to continue this little series, and in the meantime, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more content. And that is, my friends, the end of the end. Bye!